Uh, so clause 8 um, contains provisions for local connection to for care leavers. Um, so currently the existing legislation doesn't really consider care leavers at all um, when setting out the conditions where how someone can um, obtain a local connection to, to an area. So the Homelessness Reduction Act has had regard to that and now contains specific provisions for people who are leaving care services and it tells us that they can demonstrate a local connection to your local area in two ways. The first being that the care leaver will have a local connection to the local housing authority who owed them the leaving care duty, so who owed them the, um, the looks after child duties. They can also um, demonstrate a local connection via residence and they can do that for any care leaver who is still under 21 years uh, old, uh, of age. Um, if they've been placed in an area and they've resided in an area for at least two years, at least some time before they were 16 years old, and they'll be able to demonstrate a local connection to that area by the two years residence. So what the, what the aim of this provision is around is making it easier for care leavers. Um, if they do go on, unfortunately, in some cases it does still happen, if they go on to become homeless when they leave care services, it's now making it easier for the, for the young person, for the care leaver, to demonstrate a local connection to an area, to a local housing authority, the approach for assistance, and it's going to stop them kind of being bounced around or referred back to different areas other than the ones they've initially approached for assistance. The Code of Guidance, the Draft Code of Guidance, has uh, given us some very useful information around uh, how local authorities should approach delivering services and, and dealing with homeless applications from people who have um, previously been in care. Um, and, and all is set out on the bottom, bottom of the slide there in the italics, um, saying that all local housing authorities should really take a positive a person-centred approach to, to this uh, homelessness from young people, um, avoid the impact of any adverse, intentionally homeless decisions um, in relation to people who are leaving care, and then get some clear, specific referral arrangements in place set out in joint protocols or procedures with your uh, children's services and wider partners, and any personalised housing plans that you deliver for young people who have previously been in care services should have clear regard to their, to their pathway and to that young person's approach. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, what I think you need to do, again, it's kind of, sort of just reviewing your, your current procedures and, and guidance. And I really, you don't really want care leavers to become homeless. Uh, you want to be able to deal with them under existing protocols if, you've got, if you have got uh, quotas for people to be housed in, in social housing. Just looking, making sure that you have got effective pathways with uh, your ch children's services and leaving care teams. And if it does come to the, if they do become homeless, uh, and you do have to try and prevent or relieve homelessness, then make sure that you, your, your personalised housing plans have regard to their pathway plans. So it is about partnership working, making sure what you're doing ties in with what children's services leaving care teams are doing. Uh, and really, it, it, this is a vulnerable group, uh, so really you know, the guidance is try not to find them intentionally homeless, try and uh, prevent or relieve their homelessness because they've had a hard life.